Hello and welcome to another Spark AR tutorial video. In this video, I would first like to start off by a sort of apologising um, and sort of addressing some issues that some of you have had with the random image generator. Now, that's not to say that this doesn't work, because it does. Uh, it's just more that uh, some people who wanted to do screen recording found that they ran into some issues when they were setting up their patch and some things just didn't quite work the way we planned because of weird bugs. So I'm going to address these in this video, uh, show you the correct way of setting up a screen recording, how to address some of these issues and also how to add a little bit further details to make your effect just a little bit more stand out. So without further ado, let us begin. So on screen you should see our setup that we had in the original random image generator video. So we have our screen tap, our switch, our answer and our question. So when our screen is tapped it switches and uh, changes this. Uh, however when I did the going further video there was a section on how to set up for screen recording. That is now slightly incorrect. And rather than take down the entire video I'm just going to upload this amendment video. So if you've seen the previous video uh, going further with random images uh, please um, bear in mind that the so the screen recording section is now uh, outdated. So what I'm going to first do is I'm just going to remove my screen tap and I'm going to go over to my camera and drag this into my patch editor and with my camera patch in here you notice we have a variety of options we have video recording whether front or back camera is active etc etc so what I want to do is I'm going to want to have it so when my camera is screen recording I want this to basically uh, start my effect. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to drag from the camera screen recording output. I'm going to add a delay because I want my answer to actually, uh, my question to sorry to appear on screen at the beginning of the screen recording and then disappear rather than just immediately disappear. I'm going to also want to remove my switch. Now this is the part that was causing problems uh, for a few people because if we go from camera to delay to switch um, the actual switch doesn't necessarily behave correctly so we and we actually also don't need it for this purpose because the camera actually acts as a trigger so we don't need a trigger here. So I'm going to remove the switch option. I'm going to give my delay a one second of time and then going to link from the delay patch to my two values here and I'm still going to want to utilize a offset to um, trigger to uh, reset my animation sequence so I'm going to go and drag from my delay to my reset value and it'll throw up this error here so I need to actually before uh, in between the two values I need to click drag and add a pulse so when this delay fires this is going to send off a signal that's going to tell this to fire and reset like so so now when our camera screen recording is active after one second our question should disappear our answer uh, plane should appear and the pulse will be set to reset our win time value so we basically can start the sequence from a scratch uh, an extra little thing i'm going to show you to do which might make your project a little bit more uh, user friendly is if we want to add some custom instructions. So if we go to Project, Edit Properties, Capabilities, and you notice under Manage Capabilities we have a variety of options here. I'm going to go to the little plus icon. I'm going to add some instructions. And under here on instructions, you've got the option here for automatic instructions. I'm going to turn those off. I'm going to use custom instructions, select custom instru select instructions to use click on the plus button and I'm going to use, choose the press and hold record to launch option there we go and there we go so what I'm going to do is from my runtime I'm going to click and drag and say if my runtime is less than um, x many seconds so let's say less than uh, say 6 seconds then I want my instructions to appear on screen so to get my instructions into my patch editor I select my device I go to the custom instructions arrow here that's now been created I link this less than to the enabled and now I need to type in the token name so if I go to project edit properties capabilities 
instructions custom. You'll notice that we have this press and hold record uh, to launch. The token name is press underscore to underscore launch. So I need to type in press underscore to underscore launch. And now if I reset my project, we should notice that we have this little instructions now on the screen for six seconds. That should disappear. There we go. And off we go. So I'm now going to show you this working on my phone just to prove to you that this now works. And hopefully this will address some of the issues some of you have been running into when trying to use the screen recording option to trigger your random image sequence. So if I launch my effect in this Spark AR player, you should see I've got my message that says press and hold launch to launch, basically hit record. That disappears. My question is only appearing on the screen. I press and hold the record button. And after one second, my question disappears. My video animation starts playing. So my image sequence should loop through the images. It will choose one. Once I release the button, it should go back to the question, which it does. And there we go. We're ready to keep going. You'll notice that the instruction doesn't reset. Um, and that's basically because it's a first time, one time run. Uh, we could make it possibly be run by, again, like we did before, having an offset and then resetting it. Uh, I haven't chosen to do that in this video, but again, it, you could very easily do that if you wanted to. However, well, the, the logic is if somebody's used your effect once, they should probably then understand how it works. So hopefully this addresses some of the problems you've had. And like I did, just to prove it works one time. Press and hold. Why don't we go for some images? There we go. And then once I release, that delay kicks in and it goes back to the question. Hopefully it's been useful. I've been Stephen Fisher and again I apologise for some of the issues you had with the random image generator and hopefully this addresses some of your concerns that you've got. And again the screenshot of this patch, uh, patch sequence and edit will be down in the description down below. Thank you for watching.